All right, welcome back. We are reading chapter nine of Two Dogs in a Trench Coat Go to School. In chapter eight, we just read about Sassy and Waldo um, eating lunch at school for the first time. And so let's see what chapter nine brings. Back in the classroom, Salty drew a picture of a planet cell. He memorized his multiplication tables. He read a book about sharing and he licked the skeleton's thigh bone. Mrs. Tui talked more about the big project and the importance of the information sheet. Waddle and Sassy listened intently. They liked rules. They liked being told what they were supposed to do. They knew how it worked. Humans said what the rules were, and if you followed the rules, you got a cookie. It was a good system. All right, students, said Mrs. Tui. Thank you for all of your hard work today. See you tomorrow. Everyone stood up and started putting their coats on. What is happening? Waddo asked Stuart. School's over. It's time to go home. Already? I was not done. I am having too much fun. I do not want to go home. Sorry, guys. I guess you can come back tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow? Today is Wednesday. School is five days a week. Wednesday? I'm sleepy, said Sassy, lying down suddenly, the trench coat pooling over her. Come on, guys, said Stuart. Let's go home. I am confused about tomorrow day, said Waddo. I am also sleepy. We will nap now. Oh, good night. Guys, said Stuart, you can't nap now. It's time to go home. You can nap at home. Come on. It's too late, said Waddo. We're already asleep. We've never been more comfortable. I was sleepy and, and there was a carpet square and now I'm sleeping. Fine, said Stuart. You can stay here, but I'm going. Also, meatballs. Stuart walked out of the room. Good night, said Sassy. <gasps> meatballs, said Waddo. What? said Sassy. Where's Stuart? Meatballs, said Waldo. Really? Meatballs where? Both dogs were standing now. Waldo hopped up on top of Sassy and they ran into the hallway where Stuart was putting on his backpack and closing his locker. Hey guys, ready to go home? I heard something about meatballs, said Waldo. Really? said Stuart. Isn't it Meatball Wednesday? said Sassy. That is not a thing, said Stuart. It is where we're from. We're from Liver, Ohio. No, you're not, said Stuart. And you fall, and you fall for that meatball trick every time. They left school and started walking home. School is great, said Waddo. You said it was boring, but it's not. There's meat and books. You weren't there long enough to know how it is, said Stuart. You didn't do any work. I did work. I am a working dog. Bax is nice. Bax isn't nice, said Stuart. He told you himself that he is a bully. He doesn't smell like a bully, though, said Waddo. Waddo's right, said Sassy. He smells <laughs> non-bully. What does a bully smell like, asked Stuart. Angry sweat, said Waddo. Glue. Strange cheese, old dirt, said Sassy, unread books. Old dirt, said Stuart, isn't all dirt old? No, said Waddo. Gosh, no, said Sassy, new dirt is the best. Old dirt is huh, sad. But Bax does not smell like any of those things, said Waddo. He smells like a cocker spaniel. I don't always know what you guys are talking about, said Stuart. We don't always know what you're talking about either, said Sassy. That's fun. We're home, said Waddo. Finally, school takes a long time. You were barely there half a day, said Stuart, and you didn't want to leave when it was time to go. Stuart opened the latch to the backyard and the dogs immediately broke apart and out of the trench coat. They ran in long, looping figure eights 
grass in the grass for several minutes and then came panting back to Stuart, who was watching them from the back steps. <gasps> Whew, that felt good, said Waldo. They're happy to get out of that trench coat and do some running around in the backyard. I'll say, said Sassy. Okay, everyone out of my way. There's a patch of sun inside that is calling my name. Nap time. Waddle yard. Nap time. How do you stay awake at school all day, Stuart? Sometimes it's hard, he said, but you get used to it. That night at dinner, the dogs watched Stuart. How was school, Stuart? asked his mom. It was pretty good, actually, said Stuart. Well, that's good to hear, said his dad. What I would give for a bologna sandwich. I hope you're enjoying this casserole, said the mom. Oh, the casserole is great, great, said the dad. What are they teaching you in school these days? You know, said Stuart, stuff. Math? Are they teaching you math? Yeah, dad, said Stuart, they're teaching us math. Did you hear that? asked Watto. He said school was pretty good. And he laughed at something, said Sassy. That's a relief. We're done. We never have to go back to that place again. We can nap here all day. You know what I love about school, said the mom. Bologna sandwiches, said the dad. Projects, long projects that took months to prepare, said the mom. I really loved working hard. Oh, you, said the dad. Huh? said Stuart. We have to go back, Waldo told Sassy. Look at him. Stuart looked at his lap and he closed his eyes. <sighs> I know, said Sassy. He is not loving this long project that is taking months to prepare. We have to help him. So Stuart went to talking about school happily and then mom brought up the project and Stuart is now feeling very sad and gleam. So I'm inferring, so I'm thinking that it's the project that um, is making Stuart feel uneasy about school. But I love how the dog said, we have to help him as good friends and good dogs would do. All right, stay tuned for chapter 10.